Midkiff. And uh, this is my assessment of student performances on two presentations for prototypes. I start off here by saying that I copied and pasted the rubric from the UC website, so the formatting is a little off because I'm a uh, I'm a Photoshop Illustrator kind of a person. I rarely use Microsoft or Google Docs, uh, Microsoft Word. I'm very poor when it comes to the formatting of, of this stuff. This is this is as good as I could get it. So I'm going to start by uh, sort of going down the list here, um, and here's a screenshot of the two investment uh, requests. So this is the one that I'm going to be first talking about, the Tigers Director John. Um, I'll be explaining that and referencing that. that image. So going from the beginning here, the, the outcome, or the outcome, initial pitch name and overview of the product must be clear. And I gave 13 points here out of 25 and said the name of the product is not clear, but does not, but does mention what the product does. Nowhere in here did I see a name of the product. And the Tigers either is the name of the team that created this or the baseball team. I don't know. So right there, um, there's no mention of the of the name. So 13 points. And moving on to. Um, the, the problem statement must describe problem that the product addresses and the way it will solve the problem. So in here, I explain that the problem is vaguely mentioned and the explanation of how it will be solved is poorly written with bad grammar and unclear specifics. So the problem, the tool will protect and address a problem that many people have, that their computers get hacked and viruses got uploaded into their system. To address this problem, we have designed a tool that will protect your mobile for as long as you want to be protected. All the customer needs to do is run the software into their computer and all their problem will be solved. Nothing much to do, just install and watch your problem get solved. So it didn't really say how they were going to solve the problem, just that the app needed to be installed. Um, I, I need a little more there, I guess, if I was going to give more credit as to what specific problems, I mean, what specific steps are being taken by your product to ensure that my problems will be solved, um, although I do have a problem there. So um, I'm moving on to the product re reliability, viability, clear description of who the product was tested with, what was learned, and the changes that were made. And I gave 13 points because it says that the, the product was tested on students, didn't specifically say what kind of students I guess that's probably irrelevant and what was learned from the testing was never mentioned only one change to design was mentioned um, so I need more specifics there I need to know what changes were made um, specifically and, and that doesn't give me any any of this result in a few changes here to our product including a help page where the customer can look at different ways in which they can use software and at the same time how to reach a software developer in case there is a problem which is nice but uh, what what problems were, were seen there and, and how were they were addressed aside from adding a help page a help page isn't really addressing any problems um, for me so moving on to the criterion is linked to a learning outcome request best qualities of the product have been pitched and either an investor or customer pitch are clear 13 points best qualities were never mentioned it is clear that the investment is being requested, though, given our product is one of a kind in the market, it doesn't say how that is so. Um, they said one of a kind in the market here, but also in their video presentation, they say that there's nothing special about it, nothing that sets them apart, because I believe they said cybersecurity is so broad that there's really nothing new to invent, I believe is what they said. But here they're saying that they're one of a kind. Uh, which is a mixed message um, and does not explain the product dealing with cybersecurity. It does, it does, uh, pardon me, explain the product. So it does say that, da, 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 I'm sorry, I skipped ahead. It is clear that the investment is being requested. So that is right here. We did da, 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 our development timeline business plan and encourage you to become an investor in this product. After doing so, we'd like you to consider becoming an early backer. I guess that's just another way of ask, asking for money. 
of our prototype, you can become a beta tester to receive an early version of the product. Which seems to be something that you would give a customer is an early version of the product, but it says backer, so I'm giving eight points there because the best qualities were never mentioned, but an investment was requested. So moving on, um, they, the video, I don't have the video on this computer. I wrote this on my Mac where I have Microsoft Word and I sent it, or I'm sorry, I sent it from my laptop, my PC, my, my, uh, my Windows laptop and sent it to my Mac. Um, but watching the video, I can, I can reference the video here. Um, no mention of the name was ever, ever in the video, no evidence of there even being a name of the, the product. But it did explain that the product is dealing with cybersecurity on, on a poorly created web page uh, that they had in their presentation that the user could barely navigate and looked like he had never been to the site before in his life. Uh, he was sort of fumbling around very clumsily and stumbling all over his words, which I, I suggest at the end of this grading rubric that he write a script next time. Um, so moving on to outcome video prototype walkthrough clearly describes one scenario of use that includes a spe specific task and shows how the task can be completed by a user with a screen by screen walkthrough. In the video, there was a, a written uh, example of, of a user walkthrough. There were no screens, no visuals. There was nothing to explain a user journey step by step in the process, uh, screen by screen. So I gave 25 points there because there was a scenario that was explained. It was, it was in text, so I gave some credit there. Now moving on to uh, conclusion, summarizes major innovations in the prototype, describes any future work or iterations on the design going forward that will help the viewer understand what the high fidelity product will look like and ends with a grand take home message. I gave no points for that. Um, there was no mention of major innovations to the prototype. There was no description of what the future work or iterations on the design moving forward will be. There was no mention of a high fidelity product look. There was no grand home take home message. I, I guess they, they sort of said at the end, we hope you like our video and that's it. So I gave zero points for that. And then moving on to uh, the video demonstrates knowledge-based, critical thinking, speaking style delivery is clear, and use of audio-visual demonstrates understanding of what is necessary for an industry-quality presentation. First off, the website was poorly made. There were texts and text and images laying overlaid on top of each other. Um, it sort of looked like it was put together without any thought of design in mind. It looked like, I mean, the colors there that were that were being used on one of the pages bright red text on a bright blue saturated background it was hard to read. It was very distracting. At, at one mo point in the video, I had to go back and rewatch it because I was so distracted by the contrasting colors that I lost track of what the guy was saying. As well as his, his speaking style and delivery, he was, although it doesn't seem that English is his main language, um, I that has no bearing on my grade here. Um, you can still write out a script and you can still stutter a little bit, but this guy talking seemed to have no end in mind. He was just freestyling any thought that came into his head without knowing exactly where he was going to end up. So I gave a zero for that. Um, and the overall look and presentation was just very, I wouldn't even call it amateur. It was very bad. It was as if this person had never taken this class before and just read uh, what the final project was going to be and threw something together really quick, sort of. So I mentioned down here, I had suggestions after tallying the 75 out of 200 points, um, just, you know, formatting the website. And I also suggested um, actually writing a script and then double checking the rubric to make sure that all requirements were met before you even go on to the, um, to the video screencast. Um, it, it didn't appear that any of that was even considered. So, whoops. Yes, uh, again, the formatting of this is horrible. As I talk about the format of his website, I don't know anything about Microsoft Word. It would have taken me a couple, probably an hour or two, looking how to format tables and such. Um, ironic. So moving forward, going to the next product here, the Film Finder. This film is mentioned right away, and uh, 
right here in the first sentence. And it says that it's a one-of-kind streaming service that has been carefully designed to shorten the now seemingly arduous task of searching for a movie or show to watch. And the problem is presented right here with many people have that now deciding on a good movie or show to watch in a short amount of time has become too stressful. To address this problem, here is the solution. We have designed Film Finder to make that easier by allowing our friends to like, dislike, and suggest movies on your list, thus creating a more customized algorithm to produce titles to watch. That is very basic to understand. It's a problem that a lot of people probably have and a solution in black and white right there, very easy to understand and follow along with, clearly stated. Our team is interested in designing products that are both easy to use and help our users to solve this problem. For this reason, we have tested our product with college students, clearly defined which target area was used to test this, and other young adults, most likely to utilize streaming services and learn that users really like familiar, familiarity, familiarity, oh my goodness, uh, with use. This resulted in a few changes. Um, so this looks like the visual changes that sums up the main uh, innovation in the product. Uh, based on user feedback, including design or website. Why? Because users like to use something that they have already grown accustomed to. So there's a reasoning behind their change right there. And then moving forward, the, the key qualities, the innovation and the user friendliness, we believe that this will be great interest to you. So those are the main qualities of this product that make the uh, customer interested. And we would like to request, let's see, investment right here clearly stated they're looking for an investment and they have stated the the overall qualities here so now i'm just after vaguely going over this i'm going to go back to my rubric in google docs and explain those specifically 25 points uh, the name on overview product is very clear uh, 25 points again for this it says problem statement describes a problem and how it will be addressing that problem and then moving on 25 points here because the clear description of who tested the product what was learned and what changes were implemented by summed up by saying look at the product change we did that is important okay so moving here best qualities of the product have been pitched innovative and user friendly and investment was clearly requested this one was very easy to grade 15 points moving forward leads with full name of the product states what product does and describes problem that product solves right away in the first couple sentences in the introduction and then 50 full points clearly describes one scenario of use that includes a specific task and shows how the user uh, can be completed by a user with a screen by screen walkthrough i walked through checking out a, a video and then feedback from my friends and the algorithm of the lists that were created um, for my viewing pleasure. And then moving forward here, um, summarizes major innovations in the prototype, describes any future work or iterations by going forward that will help the viewer understand what the high fidelity product will look like and ends with a grand take home message. So again, I don't have the video here on this. I watched it on my other laptop, but um, specifically in one of the innovations that were mentioned is the ads list button and um, the high fidelity product demonstration was pretty close from my understanding of the video. Not that I know much about internet um, video streaming websites, but it looked very professional. It looked like something that I have already grown accustomed to uh, with Roku and Amazon and Hulu and Netflix. It looked like it already belonged on my TV. Um, so that is full credit there and then moving forward 20 points i gave full credit for the criterion let's see video demonstrates knowledge based critical thinking speaking style delivery is clear this was very professional the people that made this video um, spent a lot of time on what it was going to look like they took care there um, it was well planned out and executed the person delivering the video screencast knew exactly what he was going to say he knew exactly where he wanted to start where he wanted to go and where he wanted to end he had that in mind before he started the presentation and he had also got a, um, a firm grasp on what the rubric was before presenting and he covered all of his bases so that right there suggestions um, i accidentally included this when i copied and pasted from the uh, sample one um, total points 200 out of 200 couldn't make any suggestions i would have just said that was a very good um, video screencast and prototype presentation 
and I'm going to stop right there because that one was very good. Uh, the first one was an example of what not to do, and the second one was an example that was easily gradable, um, what to do and how to make your teacher happy 